Have you ever wondered about the hidden gems in the world of royal residences? Forget Buckingham Palace. Today we are delving into the lesser known, yet equally fascinating homes of the British royal family. From a sprawling 50,000 acre estate in Balmoral, Scotland, to a charming miniature Wendy house on the grounds of Windsor. Join us as we uncover the 34 regal estates that have been home to British royalty. Adelaide Cottage is a house in Windsor Home Park, just east of Windsor Castle in Berkshire. Built in 1831 for Queen Adelaide, it is currently the principal residence of the Prince and Princess of Wales since September 2023. According to royal expert Jenny Bond, the Wales chose the four-bedroom Adelaide Cottage because they wanted to give the children a more normal lifestyle. Gatcombe Park is the country residence of Anne, Princess Royal, between the villages of Minchinhampton and Avening in Gloucestershire, England. Built in the late 18th century to the designs of George Basefee, it is a royal residence as it is home to the Princess Royal and is privately owned. Parts of the grounds open for events, including horse trials and craft fairs. Bagshot Park is a royal residence located near Bagshot, a village 11 miles south of Windsor. It is on Bagshot Heath, a 50 square mile tract of formerly open land in Surrey and Berkshire. Bagshot Park occupies 51 acres within the designated area of Windsor Great Park. It was leased to Prince Edward, Duke of Edinburgh, by the Crown Estate for 50 years. High Grove House is the family residence of King Charles III and Queen Camilla. It lies southwest of Tetbury in Gloucestershire, England. Built in the late 18th century, Highgrove and its estate were owned by various families until it was purchased in 1980 by the Duchy of Cornwall from Maurice Macmillan. To this day, King Charles still maintains the expansive residence and is particularly proud of the garden, according to the Duchy of Cornwall official website. Osborne House is a former royal residence in East Cowes, Isle of Wight, United Kingdom. The house was built between 1845 and 1851 for Queen Victoria and Prince Albert as a summer home and rural retreat. Albert designed the house himself in the style of an Italian Renaissance palazzo and built by Thomas Cubitt. Queen Victoria died at Osborne House on 22nd January 1901, aged 81. Following her death, King Edward VII who had never liked Osborne, presented the house to the state on the day of his coronation, with the royal pavilion being retained as a private museum to Victoria. Anmer Hall is a Georgian country house in the village of Anmer in Norfolk, England. Built in the 19th century, it was acquired by the monarch Sandringham estate after Queen Victoria purchased the property and has previously been leased to business owners, civil servants, and members of the British royal family. Located in Aberdeenshire, Scotland, Balmoral Castle served as Queen Elizabeth's summer home and sits on 50,000 acres with 150 buildings. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert originally purchased the castle in 1852 and it's remained one of the royal family's favorite vacation spots. The Palace of Holyrood House stands at the end of Edinburgh's Royal Mile. Built in neoclassical style, the Palace of Holyrood House, commonly referred to as Holyrood Palace or Holyrood House, is the official residence of the British monarch in Scotland. Originally built for the garden keepers of Richmond Park, the thatched house lodge served as a grace and favor residence for the royal household until 1927. High political figures, 
such as Wing Commander Sir Louis Gregg and even President Dwight Eisenhower, stayed in the home in the following years. But, eventually, it would become the permanent residence of Sir Angus Ogilvie and Princess Alexandra in 1963. Alexandra, Queen Elizabeth's cousin, lives quietly within the six-bedroom home and often spends her time tending to the horses and the property's stables. This 19,000-acre estate is a private residence of the royal family near Norfolk, England. Queen Elizabeth inherited the property from her family in 1952, with Prince Philip taking charge of the home's management and upkeep. The royal family usually celebrates Christmas at Sandringham House and attends religious services at the Church of St. Mary Magdalene, which is located on the grounds. Famously known as the location of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's evening wedding reception, Frogmore House has been a Crown-owned official residence in Home Park since 1792. The estate was originally bought by George III as a gift for his wife, Queen Charlotte, and has remained in the royal family ever since. While the house has been unoccupied since 1872, the royal family often hosts private and official events at the residence. The former home of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, Frogmore Cottage shares the same grounds as Frogmore House. Cottage was built in 1801 under the direction of Queen Charlotte. The home is only a half mile away from Windsor Castle, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were married. The most well-known and visited of all the royal properties, Buckingham Palace has remained the official London residence of the United Kingdom's monarchs since 1837. Designed in a neoclassical style, the palace has a total of 775 rooms, including 188 staff bedrooms, 92 offices, 78 bathrooms, 52 royal and guest bedrooms, and 19 staterooms. A part of the Balmoral Castle estate, Burke Hall was bought by Queen Victoria for her son Edward. Prince of Wales, in 1849. The former home of the Queen Mother, King Charles often stayed at the home when visiting Scotland. In 1540, King Henry VII gifted Barnwell Manor to the Montague family for being loyal supporters of the Crown. It remained with the Montagues until the early 1900s, when a series of tenants stayed at the Elizabethan Manor House in Northamptonshire for short periods. It would come back into the ownership of the royal family in 1938, when Prince Henry, Duke of Gloucester, bought the estate. While the Gloucesters no longer live at the 30-bedroom home, they have leased it out to Windsor House Antiques. For all over 900 years, the Crown-owned Windsor Castle has acted as both a private home and an official royal residence for the United Kingdom's monarchs. Inside, the property is the famous St. George's Chapel, the location where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle married in May 2018, and Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooksbanks married in October the same year. Queen Elizabeth would spend weekends at Windsor Castle, away from the bustle of London. The former seat of the Tudor dynasty dates back to 1514, when Cardinal Thomas Wolsey, King Henry VIII's Lord Chancellor, started laying the foundation for a marvelous palace in London. It was so grand that the king eventually took the Hampton Court Palace for himself and added a hotel, theater, and leisure complex to the grounds. Later. When King William III and Queen Mary II took the throne, the royal couple appointed Sir Christopher Wren to expand the palace and landscape architect capability Brown to tend to the gardens. The palace and its grounds were opened to the public as a museum in 1838 by Queen Victoria and have operated under the crown since. 
birthplace and childhood home of Queen Victoria. The 547-room palace was the London home and office to a number of royals, including the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, now the Prince and Princess of Wales, until the September of 2023, when they moved to Adelaide Cottage. Since the middle of 2017, apartment 1A had been the main residence for Prince William and Catherine Middleton's family, which has four floors and 20 rooms. Kensington Palace was also the former home of Princess Diana, as well as Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. A part of the Windsor Estate, Fort Belvedere was built in the Gothic Revival style by English architect Geoffrey Wyattville in the 1820s. Most famously, the manor house served as the royal residence for Edward VIII, the Duke of Windsor, between 1929 and 1936. During his stay, the then prince renovated many of the rooms to include more contemporary details and added horse stables, a swimming pool, and tennis courts. It was there that Edward signed his written abdication notice, stripping him from his royal title and his home. Technically, on the grounds of the Balmoral Estate, Craigowen Lodge is a more rustic stone cottage about a mile from the main castle. Then Prince Charles and Princess Diana would often opt to stay in the seven-bedroom house during their visits to the Scottish countryside. Marlborough House, a Grade I listed mansion on the Mall in St. James City of Westminster, London, is the headquarters of the Commonwealth of Nations and the seat of the Commonwealth Secretariat. It is adjacent to St. James Palace. The original structure on the grounds of the Hollywood famous Hatfield House, the Royal Palace of Hatfield, was the childhood home and favorite residence of the first Queen Elizabeth. After the accession of King James I to the throne, he decided to give the palace to Elizabeth's chief minister, Robert Cecil, first Earl of Salisbury, who built the breathtaking Jacobean home that is now on the property. Only parts of the original palace still remain on the grounds. The Palace of Westminster is the meeting place of the Parliament of the United Kingdom and is located in London, England. It is commonly called the Houses of Parliament, after the House of Commons and the House of Lords, the two legislative chambers which occupy the building. The Elizabeth Tower of the Palace, nicknamed Big Ben, is a landmark of London and the United Kingdom in general. The Dumfries House dates back to 1754, when William Crichton Dalrymple sketched out plans for a Palladian-style home with lavish interiors filled with colorful and hand-crafted Chippendale furniture. Regarded as one of the most significant properties within the Commonwealth, shockwaves ran through Great Britain when news hit. It was in the verge of sale, propelling then Prince Charles and one of his foundations to raise funds to save the Dumfries. Today, the stately home is open for people to explore its original 18th century furnishings and incredible interiors. Hillsborough is a late 18th century Irish big house, rather than a castle. It was very common for the rich, predominantly Anglo-Irish upper classes, to call their grand country houses castles, as this reinforced the antiquity of their families. Hillsborough Castle has been a grand family home and is now the official home of the Secretary of State for Northern Ireland and a royal residence. Members of the royal family stay at Hillsborough when visiting Northern Ireland. King Charles III and Queen Consort Camilla most famously resided in the Crown-owned official London residence before his accession. Built in 1825 and 1827, Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip lived in the townhouse after their marriage in 1947. It was also the London home of the Queen Mother from 1953 until
until 2002. Prince William and Prince Harry also lived here until moving into their own private residences at Kensington Palace in 2011 and 2012, respectively. Delnadamf Lodge was located on the Balmoral Estate, about eight miles north of the castle. The lodge and its estate lands were bought by Queen Elizabeth II for a figure believed to be around £750,000 in 1978 and given to Charles, Prince of Wales, and his first wife, Diana, on their marriage, but Diana found the home uninviting and was not interested in repairing it. The original house was described as a solid two-story Victorian ten-bedroom lodge in 1981. It was never occupied and was gutted by 1987. Subsequently, it was offered to the Royal Engineers for demolition practice in 1988 and only the offices remain. Cardiff Castle is a medieval castle and Victorian Gothic Revival Mansion located in the city centre of Cardiff, Wales. The original Mada and Bailey Castle was built in the late 11th century by Norman invaders on top of a 3rd century Roman fort. It is one of Wales' leading heritage attractions and a site of international significance. Located within beautiful parklands at the heart of the capital city centre, Cardiff Castle's Romanesque walls and fairy tale towers conceal 2,000 years of history. The London Palace was the former residence of the monarchs of England until the reign of Queen Victoria. St. James Palace holds an important role in the monarchy as it is the place where the Garter King of Arms formally announces the accession of a new king or queen from the palace's proclamation gallery after the death of a monarch. It's also the London residence of Princess Anne, Princess Beatrice, and Princess Alexandra. The palace even hosts charity receptions associated with members of the royal family. The Queen Mother purchased deteriorating Barragill Castle in 1952 after seeing it on her visit with Commander and Lady Doris Viner. After extensive renovations of the castle and gardens in 1955, Her Majesty made the decision to restore the structure's original name, the Castle of Me. Today, the property is under the stewardship of the Prince's Foundation which recently opened the granary lodge bed and breakfast on the grounds. The Tower of London, early in its history, served as a royal residence. It is a historic castle on the north bank of the River Thames in central London, England, and lies within the London borough of Tower Hamlets, which is separated from the eastern edge of the square mile of the city of London by the open space known as Tower Hill. It was founded toward the end of the year, 1066, as part of the Norman Conquest. The White Tower, which gives the entire castle its name, was built by William the Conqueror in 1078 and was a resented symbol of oppression inflicted upon London by the new Norman ruling class. The castle was also used as a prison from the years 1100 until 1952 although that was not its primary purpose. Kew Palace is a British royal palace within the grounds of Kew Gardens on the banks of the River Thames. Originally a large complex, few elements of it survive, dating to 1631, but built atop the undercroft of an earlier building. The main survivor is known as the Dutch House. Its royal occupation lasted from around 1,728 until 1,818, with a final short-lived occupation in 1844. The Dutch house is open to visitors and is cared for by an independent charity. Historic Royal Palaces, which receives no funding from the government or the crown. 
Winnie Wormwood Estate, also known as L. Winnie Wormwood, is an estate just outside the Brecon Beacons National Park in Carmarthenshire, Wales. The 192-acre estate is near the village of Midfay, Landovery, Carmarthenshire, and was purchased by the Duchy of Cornwall for use by King Charles, while he was the Prince of Wales. These smaller properties on the grounds of Kensington Palace have been popular homes in the royal family for years. Nottingham Cottage was the former home of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle before they moved into Frogmore Cottage. Prince William and Catherine Middleton also resided in the cottage before moving into apartment 1A. Ivy Cottage is currently the first home of Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank. Prince Edward, the Duke of Kent, lives at Wren House with his wife, Catherine Worsley. When Queen Elizabeth was just six years old in 1932, she received a gift from the people of Wales that most little girls could only dream of. A fully functional large windy house, which included a kitchen, living room, a bedroom, and a bathroom that came complete with hot and cold running water, electricity, and even a heated towel rail. For entertainment, Princesses Elizabeth and Margaret were treated to a bookshelf complete with the works of Beatrix Potter, a mini radio, and a tea set to play tea parties with. The house still stands close by on the grounds of the Royal Lodge of Windsor. <laughs>